Hello, fellow Rebel Capitals. Hope you're well. Just got done doing a video on the World Economic Forum. Josh brought to my attention a chart or maybe diagram from Visual Capitalist. And uh, this is one of my favorite websites. Absolutely awesome. But it gives you a visual as to what is happening right now with corporate layoffs. And I, I want you just to take a look at this for a moment and then try to turn on CNBC and listen to all the people who say we have a booming economy. And the headline jobs number is additional 528,000. Therefore, uh, we should all go out and buy the S&P 500 because the economy is running on all eight cylinders. I mean, you guys know what I'm saying. You, you, you've heard it in the mainstream media, I'm sure, till you're, till you're blue in the face. And it's something I've been doing whiteboard videos on because I just cannot believe that grown adults can sit there and talk about how uh, the economy is on fire Yet all of these data points are just showing that it's doing the exact or it's the exact opposite of that. And that if you just scratch, the only thing they have to hold on to is just the headline establishment jobs number. That's it. Even if you look at the household number, you can't look at that. That's a decline. You look at uh, unemployment or jobless claims. That's going up. Any yield curve, for heaven's sakes, two quarters of negative GDP. You look at all of these data points that would say the economy is struggling right now, to say the least. But yet that one thing, well, unemployment's at 3.5%. They, they just hold that in their hand and say, oh, you know, and they, you know what it's like? It's like they're those monkeys that uh, are all in a line. I don't know what that's called. You guys have seen that picture, right? Where the ones like this ones i think covering the mouth and the ones covering the eyes that that's they just take that or they're like a four-year-old kid that just puts his hands over his ears and goes i i i i i i i whenever you say oh but look at this yield or oh but look at this look at this they just take that jobs number hold it in front of their face and just i i i i i i i but on that note let's see what the visual capitalist is saying let me do a screen share So here we go. Let me zoom in a bit. This just came out two days ago, August 9th. This is by Marcus Liu. And again, the website's fantastic, visualcapitalist.com. Visualizing major layoffs at U.S. corporations. So remember, guys, th this is just... While the mainstream media is telling us that the jobs market is astonishing, it's or it's astounding, I think is what Yahoo Finance said. That's what I used on my whiteboard video the other day. The, the, we have never in our lifetimes, maybe in human history, have we ever seen a jobs market that is this strong. You know what this is? This is like them <laughs> saying, we've never seen an economy grow this fast as real GDP is contracting. It's, 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 the re, it's the booming recession, the recessionary boom. They're doing the exact same thing with jobs and the job market. So visualizing major layoffs at U.S. corporations. So back, yeah, February, Peloton came out. 2,800 people. Get the pink slip. Uh, well, these are just layoffs, so maybe they didn't fire them outright. But these, so to be clear here, we're talking layoffs. Uh, we've got Carvana, which is a ridiculous company in and of itself. 2,500. Funko, Robinhood, Nectar, Doma, J.P. Morgan, Coinbase, Loan Depot. Oh, Peloton coming in uh, with another 2,000. <laughs> Go Peloton. Robinhood, Vimeo, Lyft, Wells Fargo, Netflix. And uh, what was really kind of shocking is Amazon isn't on here. And I had Josh look this up because I, I've been hearing it a lot lately just to confirm that it's accurate. And uh, Josh said, yes, he saw it in the news. Amazon laid off 100,000 people. 100,000. 
just recently. And Facebook or beta, whatever you want to call it, probably more appropriately called beta. But uh, the, the, the beta males over at uh, Facebook, they have announced that they're doing, and I don't know if they're doing layoffs or doing hiring freezes. Uh, I, I know that Google and Facebook basically announced to their employees whether they've taken action yet or not, but they've announced that they're going to be doing layoffs. They're going to be cutting back on staff. They're ten percent. They're preparing a ten percent staff cutback. Is that a beta or yeah. Google? Facebook. Okay. So they they basically send out a message to their employees saying that, hey, listen, if you've thought about quitting over the last few months, now's probably a good time to do that. <laughs> so why are they doing this? If if the economy is in fuego, why? Why are we seeing all of these massive corporations reduce their staff? You see what's going on here is that the big corporations, they're cutting staff. The small restaurant owners and bars, they're the ones that can't get employees. Uh, they're the ones where the demand is skyrocketing because people still have their median checking account 75% higher than it was in 2019. But all of that is coming to an end. So you get that bullwhip effect mentality with the small, the nail salon with the, the restaurant, with the bar, where they're saying, oh my gosh, this demand, it's just going to last forever. So we've got to hire, 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 hire. You can't get enough people that want to work those jobs for obvious reasons because the rate of inflation is so high and they're going to have to work two or three of those jobs to actually make ends meet. And this is what we're seeing. The, the, the major corporations like Amazon, where people want to work, they're cutting hundreds of thousands or 100,000 people where you know Joe's Crab Shack or whatever, <laughs> they're in a hiring spree because of all these people that couldn't afford to go out to eat in 2019 can afford to go out to eat now, but they won't be able to go out uh, to, they won't be able to afford to go out to eat when they burn through that savings because of inflation. And what Joe's Crab Shack doesn't understand is in you know, I, I don't know the specific time, but let's say 2023, they're going to get to a point where all those middle class people that used to be able to afford to go there in 2019 can no longer afford to go there now because their purchasing power has decreased because their pay has gone up by 5%, but inflation compounded has gone up by, call it 15, 20%. This is how it works. And again, this is why it just drives me crazy when I hear people saying that the economy is ripping right now. <laughs> it, it is. Tell that to Carvana. Tell that to Coinbase. Tell that to uh, Rivet. Tell it to Netflix. Tell it to Amazon. I mean, there, is there any other? Is there another better bellwether for basically the U.S. economy than Amazon? I mean, it, it's just in. It, it's not just that Walmart, Target, all, I don't know if they're laying off people, but they've all come out and said that they've got excess inventory, that they've seen demand absolutely fall off a cliff. And yet it goes back to just holding that, that, it, you know what it's like? It's like, uh, what was that movie called? The Lord of the Rings. Remember that guy that, that the little gremlin guy? who had to find the ring and he got like completely possessed by the, the ring. He's like, oh, my precious, my precious. That's the way the mainstream media is right now with the jobs report or with the unemployment rate. It's just nothing else matters. It's just their little precious. So when they see all these other data points, when they see uh, Google, Facebook, Amazon uh, coming out with all of these layoffs or, or uh in fact, I saw another one today on CNBC. Let me go to the homepage here to see if it's right there front and center. It was another one of these tech companies. It wasn't, it was like, uh, I don't know, uh, what what is it? Snapchat or Snap, I guess it is. Snap announced layoffs. I mean, it, it's not just uh, 
the ones that you're seeing here on visual capitals, although this is a great chart, I mean, there's, I would guess, hundreds more out there. So I just wanted to bring this, uh, and what is this is interesting too here. So they're saying rising interest rates have been a major factor behind these layoffs. I don't, so this, I don't know if this is correlation or causation. Because I would argue you would be seeing a lot of these layoffs regardless of what the Fed funds is doing because the Fed isn't creating the recession. The recession was already in the works. Uh, it's very similar to what we saw with the Cerveza sickness. I don't think the Cerveza sickness caused the recession. The, the economy was sick to begin with. And that was just kind of maybe tipped it over the edge. But I don't think, my point here is I would argue that even if interest rates were at 50 basis points right now, as far as Fed funds, I still think you would see all of these layoffs because it's not like the economy is so strong and the Fed rise, increasing interest rates is just cooling it down a little bit. No, no, no. The underlying economy is already freezing cold. And uh, especially when you look at it from a fundamental standpoint. But as soon as this aggregate demand wears off with the additional uh, checking account balances that these people, and as soon as they have to start paying their student loan back, if that ever happens, as soon as they have to start paying their mortgage back, their rent, and I, I know most people are, but with the student loans, that's still on delay until election time. Surprising, a coincidental, the, the date on that, isn't it? But uh this is just more proof that uh, the bond market, I, I don't want to say proof because nothing is definitive and there are no certainties, only probabilities. But this diagram is really showing us why the yield curve is inverted and why it has been inverted for so long, regardless of what the unemployment rate or the people in the mainstream media are trying to lead you to believe. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. As always, make sure that you're standing up for freedom, liberty, free market capitalism. See you in the next video.